Alright, what's going on? Uh, I'll make you a quick video. I just sent you a really, really long message uh, telling you the story here. Um, I'll show you this guy. When I was walking down to actually see him, he had a puck ready for me, already signed and all that. That's pretty sweet. I guess uh, from what Koibu said, he actually went up and bought that himself, even though I'm sure he could have just got it for free. Um, I'll show you the stick here in a second. This is actually a third video I've made because the sound wasn't cooperating with movements, so it looked like I was delayed. A uh, few, like I said, I'm not a Gabbert collector like you. You got some sick Gabbert cards. Um, some that I do have is just the dual winning materials, um, uh, dual authentic fabrics. That's a red and green. The other one was just green. And here's another authentic fabrics, game used, SP it looks like. Yep. And that's just a white. Um, some of the number ones I have are, here's a 47 out of 50. And it's a Miko Koivu Gabrick card. All single patches. That sucks, though. And here's a 23 out of 35. It's a Gabrick and Bouchard. Here's your Gabrick. Look at look at this. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Oh, it's such, uh, too bad it wasn't Gabrick for you. Um, and like I said, this stick, I do have it right here. Let's see if I can uh, maneuver this without killing my room here. There's the serial number right there. So you can look that up. It will say that this was made for Gabrick, sent down to Gabrick. And right away when I brought this in, he uh, he looked at me and he said, you were the one that took this, weren't you? And I was like, yeah. He, he said I could. You know, I thought I was going to get in trouble. And he actually told me that this was the last practice stick he used in a wild sweater. So this was the last stick he used in a practice. I don't know if it was in a game or not. But just knowing that <laughs> is ridiculous. Here's the name right there. So that is Marion Gabrick's stick. And like I said, there is the autograph right there next to his name. So that's awesome. Okay, there's his name and Otto. There's a serial number. And the only reason he got rid of it was because of that little guy there, which sucks. I'm dropping this all over my laptop. Which, you know, not a big deal, but knowing that it's a Gabrick used stick, last one he used in a wild sweater, and it's signed, um, I don't think a little crack down the center of the base is going to tear my nuts too much here. Um, you know, that's all about, that's about all the Gabrick stuff I have. Other than, I got more Miko, Koivu, and Bouchard than anybody. Um, let me know what you think. Obviously, the price is going to go up on the stick a little bit, knowing that it's signed out and that that was his last stick used for a practice with the Wild. <coughs> um, like I said, I hooked you up. Let me know what you think about it. I'd be more than happy to, if you can't make it down here, I'm not sure where you live, if you are in Minnesota, knowing you're collecting Gabbert cards, um, or my guess is you live in Canada somewhere. Um, other than that, you know, if, if you want, you can send me down like three or four or five cards that you want signed for sure by him. I'll definitely hook you up over the Olympic break. Not a problem there at all. I have no problem hooking you up with that because I know it'll make you happier than hell. Like I said, here's some more of the cards, more than just a blank screen here. Um, if you, you know, <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm so surprised he even said, yeah, you know, just send them down. And I know I can get in to uh, the XL because, like I said, I know a lot of the players. Um, let me know, dude. I'm, uh, I'm trying to hook you up here. And I'm, uh, hopefully you can hook me up right back. That'd be awesome. All right, bro, let me know what you think. All right, peace.